Good afternoon, guys. We're gonna take a walk through the Grady White Freedom 307 today. This is a 30 foot, six inch dual console for the family. A very spacious beam of 10 foot, seven inches. We'll take a look inside. Good afternoon, guys. This is Ryan Gorman with Mid Carolina Marine, along with Tim Martin. We're here today on this beautiful 2024 Grady White Freedom 307. This is a 30 foot dual console designed for the family, as well as the offshore or inshore fishermen. Here in the bow of the boat, we got an oversized anchor locker with a through hole stainless steel windlass anchor system. We've got controls here on the bow, as well as at the helm. Makes it very easy. Sitting down here, you'll notice wrap around cushions are very thick and comfortable, double stitching. Very quality cushions. You've got cup holders at all four corners all the way around. Recess stainless steel grab handles. Nice bow tub over here for your, your drinks, your snacks for the day. Great place for the kids on the boat. Looking here at the starboard side box, you got a 150 quart fish box slash cooler. This is insulated. Great place to fill up with ice with drinks and snacks or your catch of the day. Looking over here at the port side, Putting this up, you've got more storage that passes through to the passenger side console, allowing you to store rods, noodles, life jackets, anything you might need that day. Standing here in the cockpit of the Freedom 307, it's a beautiful sunshiny 75 degree day here in South Carolina. However, we know cooler weather is coming. When you ever you own a dual console from Grady White with an oversized hard top like this, you can shut, you can close this folding windshield with windscreen and add some full enclosure curtains to attach the windshield up to the hard top and allows you to boat year round whether you want to go out for a nice lunch or dinner cruise in January maybe you're doing some fishing in February in this boat you can do it in the comfort and stay nice and warm and protected from the elements in this dual console let's take a peek inside the pasture side console here looking inside here you have a couple nice plush amenities for the family including Full cushions, you've got a freshwater sink with 32 gallons of fresh water available, a couple storage pockets. You've also got a ceramic head with electric flushing features. This head also has a couple different configurations. You can also add this filler cushion to make for a nice spacious area to lay down after a long day on the water. By removing all the cushions, you will gain additional storage behind the toilet, as well as the folding rod racks that you're able to utilize for up to three fishing rods. So moving back over here to the helm area of the 307, you've got an incredibly spacious storage area here in the starboard side console, complete with knife and pliers holder here built into the door. Storage throughout the boat, numerous cubby holes. Here I've got a few oversized Plano boxes for my favorite lures of the day. Again, this is a fishing boat as well. Going over here to the helm, I've got, starting at the top, I've got rocker switches for all systems on the boat, whether it be navigation light, courtesy lights, live well pumps, wash down pumps, you name it, you got access to it right here, along with redundant circuit breakers across the board. You still got your classic compass up top. You've got Yamaha, CO5 gauge, which controls all your Yamaha engine data right there, dedicated for the engine solely. Nice, large fiberglass real estate area here to flush mount the electronics and accommodate up to twin 16 inch MFDs, I believe. You got two nice stainless steel cup holders, fusion stereo remote, nice little cubby hole here for, your, for the captain's personal items. I've got a tilt helm steering wheel. Yamaha Hellmaster EX joystick. This is big, y'all. Got complete with autopilot features that will help hold this boat in place in almost any conditions, as well as hold you on course in a lot of different conditions. I've got my Bennett controls and as well as Bennett hydraulic trim tab system here. I've also got twin adjustable bolsters here for the captain. And maybe my significant other can also sit here as well. Another nice feature Grado White incorporates in this helm seat is the electric seat, which can move you forward or back. 
which is going to be great for captains of all heights and all sizes. Now transitioning over here to the passenger seat, it's also wide enough for maybe some friends or another couple to come along with you, get access to your main fusion head unit, as well as a nice cubby storage area right there. Another comfortable family amenity in this Freedom 307 is the port side electrically extended lounge seat. This can be in the seat position as well as extend out to a lounge seat for your family or friends on board. In between the companion seats here, you have a nice Corian countertop along with storage area for your personal items as well. Moving toward the aft of the Freedom 307, got a couple of nice minis here, including an oversized Corian countertop complete with stainless steel freshwater sink with shower. Also have a nice prep station where you can prep ham sandwiches or Ballyhoo baits for the mahi that day. Trash can slides out, as well as up to three type of doors here to slide out. Put your favorite baits in there. Anything you might be using that day. Nice fold out boarding step here. Very comfortable when you're getting boarding a boat, getting on and off the dock. Notice all the way around this boat you have padded combing bolsters. Keep your knees nice and comfortable. We got stainless steel flush mount rod holders moving down inside the gunnel. Moving we'll back here towards the rear entry door, you have easy access to your dual battery switches here, as well as your main relays and circuit breakers. As your fresh water fill, as you enter this boat, you have a nice fresh water shower. As we said earlier, with 32 gallons of fresh water available to help rinse your shoes off, rinse the deck off, rinse the fish blood off. You also have raw water washed down available in this boat as well. Here along the transom, I've got a 251 quart fully insulated fish box slash cooler storage area. Behind it, I got a mosquito pylon along with convertible rear bench seat. Ray White does a nice job of ensuring this cushion flips outward to provide you additional cushion for your knees, or your shins, whatever you're fishing. Over here in the rear port side corner, you've got a 32 gallon live well, along with cutting board, stainless steel compression latches, and last but not least, a nice side door that swings inboard. A nice sturdy handle there. And last but certainly not least, this 30-foot dual console was powered by twin Yamaha F300 XSB outboards with integrated digital electronic steering, making steering controlling this beast of a boat a breeze. We appreciate y'all watching this video today. That wraps up our walk through the 2024 Freedom 307 by Great White Boats. Again, my name is Ryan Gorman, along with Tim Martin. Come see us at 718 Sunset Boulevard, West Columbia, South Carolina, Mid-Carolina Marine. Thanks for watching.